Anyways, back to the floof. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to keep us on track, motherfucker. You guys got <laughs> sidetracked on coffee. Oh yeah, coffee. No, oh, by the way, <laughs> it's not just coffee. <laughs> There's some whiskey in it. I know, but we got sidetracked on that. You were getting oh, into yeah. the frequently asked questions and stereotypes. That's what it was. Stereotypes, frequently asked questions. Uh, so I'm going to ask Poof, what are some of the stereotypes as a civilian, like things like that you've heard of or know of? When it comes to veterans? Yeah. Uh, well, one of the, the ones I have heard uh, is that uh, army guys are meatheads. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to half confirm it. Is um, that fair? That's fair. We can go half. We can go half confirm. To, to so, be fair. Yeah. To, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, I will say that, yes, there is a large number of meatheads in the army. Right. Uh, so as a medic, I have worked with a lot of different careers i guess or different uh mos's like so i've worked with the infantry the the tankers the artillery guys the engineers the hospital bitches um so lots of experience with a lot of different kinds of people yeah. and yeah the 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 combat arms like the guys that go and do the shooting yeah they're definitely meatheads for the most part however comma i have met a few meatheads that are probably like Mensa status intelligence. Well, well said. I, I, I can uh, definitely confirm that. Uh, when I was stationed at Fort Bragg, I hung out, I hung around with Jables and his, his, uh, his company. His retards. His. <laughs> no, I just giddy. Well, my was, stick goes boom. There was that time at the at the strip club, but we won't get into that. No, I mean, there were definitely some of his bros that, that I went drinking with that were more on the meathead side when I'm going, oh my fuck, I'm giving you weapons to shoot people. Oh my fuck. Uh. But then there were others who like, you walk in, you're like, oh God, another meathead grunt. And then they're they're talking fucking like like collegiate level fucking. Like Socrates and Plato Yeah, and, and you're, like, you're like, holy yeah, fuck, fuck, dude, you I'm are smart. Fucker. You might be smarter than me. Ah! Oh fucking shit! <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? That was the wife. <laughs> oh my god! She kicked the door in. She came at me like a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking oh shit! God. That's so going on this. That was so genuine. <laughs> you scared the piss out of me. Did you pee yourself a little bit? <laughs> I, I may have. I may have. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Whew. Uh, so the wife and I, uh, recently ended, it's probably about a year long truce. Well, I shouldn't say that we ended it. I was the, the ender <laughs> of the truce. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. The death glare. <laughs> yes, you got me good, babe. You got me, like, I almost punched my microphone good. She got I'm you not good disagreeing enough. with you. No, she, she got you good enough to that for that to go on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? No, no. You don't get to get me that good while I'm filming our show and then ask for a truce. That Tell her it's going on happen. the internet. Tell her shit it's going up. don't happen. I'm going to get you. And I'm going to film it. And I'm going to put that shit on the internet. Going to get you. The fuck out. Going to get you. What? Fuck, man. That was, that was brilliant. So let's talk about the PTSD stereotype for a minute. <laughs> Fuck. It's the Bob and Gob Show. La, 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 la. It's the greatest, greatest show. It's the greatest show, yeah. Bob and Gob. Bob and Gob. Yeah. Bob and Gob. Bob and Gob.